sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. And I brought you to this location that last year, as it developed for me, I had to have a plan A, B, C, and D in order to make a strike on my main target buck. So I had spotted this buck and got a picture of him and he had all kinds of trash, all kinds of stickers, and I had one picture of him in this field. But I didn't hunt this until the end of October. I had left it quiet and the conditions were right. I actually had a strong west wind, so my wind was blowing this way. And I actually sat in the tree on that far, far line down there because I wanted to be able to observe first. I didn't know if that buck was here for one. For two, I didn't know yet where things were coming from. So I wanted to have a location where I could play it safe. And that location is always here. So if you have a proven area where you know there's always animals coming to it, but there's multiple ways to get to it, it's my opinion that you first need to observe and not just come into the middle of this and end up having a deer come in downwind of you because that's his main trail. I really didn't know. I just know that I had to look. So night one, I came in and I observed and the buck came from here. He came out this way and he actually walked up and ended up fighting some other bucks and messing around in here right in this swell right here. So I had already moved in that stand right there, which is kind of a key component that I've talked about in another segment, which is always have a north-south. So I've always, I had my north-south, but once that buck came in and he did all that, he actually exited right down there to head up and eventually go across the field onto neighboring property. So what I did was I actually pulled in plan C, which was that blind down there. And that was the blind that I had kind of figured I was gonna end up killing the buck from. Because looking at the weather, what I was seeing is I was seeing this, this west or southwest wind that was gonna become prominent. And because that buck came in and went down and exited downwind of that stand, I kind of figured by the time I would have my shot, I wouldn't have the shot because he would smell me. And it was a bachelor group. There was several bucks there. This blind would be fine if I had a hard south wind, but that wasn't in the forecast. The app showed me plain as day. That wasn't gonna be an option. So I actually put in plan C. So I had observation. I had my main stand that was here. I had technically plan B alternate, which is for the south wind that came in. And then I moved in another blind. Now, one of the cool things about having blinds that are on trailers is that you can always move them around and the deer start to get used to that just being another piece of implement that's out in the field. So as it played out, I waited for the wind that I was hoping I would have and the forecast ended up changing. And instead of me having that wind that was going to be blowing this way, which would have made that quick blind perfect, the forecast ended up changing overnight and it showed me having that northeast wind coming through like this. So I was actually able to go to this stand here and when that buck came out and was chasing those does, he made his loop and came through and I was able to have a 40 yard shot right here from that stand. But the point is, if that wind forecast wouldn't have changed last minute, I would have still had my other options. So sometimes when you're trying to key in on a target buck, op option one and option two might not be enough. You need to have alternate options. So being able to, to look at that app and see those wind directions and see what the wind's gonna be doing over the next several days and decide, okay, here's where I need to move my, my stands or I need to be here, here, here. This is how I did it, by having two blinds that were mobile, one far observation, which was my recon first. I reconned, I played it safe. 
I actually tried grunting at him a few times. He looked at me, but he wasn't in the mood. So I just let him filter out. Two days later, I came in, sat my stand, got a perfect kill shot.